In this step, you will set general solver settings and start the solution. Double click the setup cell. You can run the simulation in parallel with increased number of processes to complete the solution in less time. Click OK in the Fluent Launcher dialog box. Answers Fluent opens. It will read the mesh file and set up the case. For the solution of this tutorial, you will use the monitor based convergence criteria. To achieve this, you will define one velocity magnitude surface monitor on an interior face zone and then will use this data for defining convergence criteria. Now, you will add convergence criteria for the area weighted average monitor. Click Convergence Manager under the Convergence Monitors group box. In the Convergence Manager dialog box, enable the monitor surface mon 5, which you have just created. The solution is considered to be converged if the criteria for all of the active monitors are satisfied. Enter a value in the initial iterations to ignore column if you expect your solution to fluctuate in the initial iterations. Here, enter a value that represents the number of iterations you anticipate the fluctuations to continue. The convergence monitor calculation would begin after the entered number of iterations have been completed. Click OK to set and close the Convergence Manager dialog box. Click Run Calculation in the Navigation plane. Enter 1200 for the number of iterations. Now you will add an output parameter. In the Parameters dialog box, click Create and select Fluxes from the drop-down list. To quantify the output result, mass flow rate is defined as the output parameter. So at the end of this design points study, change in the mass flow rate for the defined valve lifts can be observed. Go to the ANSYS workbench window. The parameter loop is now complete. In ANSYS Workbench, double-click on the parameter bar to access the Parameters and Design Points workspace. In the Parameters and Design Points view, you will see the work area of Table of Design Points. Enter 6 and 10 in the column of P1-Valve Lift, which sets the valve lifts. Enable the button in the exported column for design points you have added. After adding the desired valve lifts, click Update All Design Points from the menu bar. Click OK on the message dialog box that appears. Now the simulation will run for each design point. This process will take some time to complete. A solution for each design point is updated. Its output parameter is updated in the table of design points under mass flow rate. 